Welcome to another Inspirio tutorial. With this Camtasia 2023, you can now create a motion path with various points. Here's an example of how you can use the new motion path feature. In this example, we have a sports car moving on a track using a motion path. Here is how I created this animation. In my media bin, you can see that I have a race track and a race car or sports car. We can move the racetrack down to track number one. And we can move the race car down to track number two. Currently, our track length is about five seconds. We want a longer timeline, so we're going to move it over to about 10 seconds. So right about there. And we'll click on track number one and we'll move it over to 10 seconds. So now our, our timeline is 10 seconds long. Currently, our palette is the right size. But if yours isn't, use your scroll bar or use your scrolling wheel on your mouse. And you can shrink or enlarge the palette. We want it to about right here at the moment. And we're going to take our race car and we're going to click on it on track two. And we're going to move it to the top of the track where it can't be seen. We're going to kind of line it up right about there. Now we're going to apply the motion path. And we're going to do that by going up over on our left hand side to the animations pane or button. Click on that and you see we have the zoom pan and we have animations. We click on animations and we see that at the bottom of our options we have the motion path. We're going to click on that and move it down to our sports car. Because that is what we're trying to animate on the racetrack. We can see now that the path has it appears. It starts at the top where the car is in the very middle. And we're going to take the end point of the path and we're going to move it off the track to where we're going to we want to end. We can now take our play button right down here and we can move it back. And if you notice our motion path is this little area right here. We have a white and a yellow. And this white is where it starts and the yellow is where it ends. If we come over here with our playhead we will see that the car follows that path. Now the problem is we want the path to last the full length of our scene. And so on track two, we're going to enlarge it by grabbing the end points and moving them to the end of our video. Now if we hit the play button, we can see that the car very slowly moves along the path. But it does not remain on the track. We're going to correct that now. Now let's move back and adjust the timeline so it fits on the track. If you notice that at the end of the timeline and at the beginning, if I were to click at the beginning, we have this arm extended. And so we have what's called a handle. And we can grab that and we can turn that and adjust our timeline. I mean, adjust our motion path. We can grab the other end and it seems to be already where we want it. We can move it up just a hair. But now we need to bring that path down into the middle of the track. So we want to add something in the middle. So what you have to do is pick where you want to add another point in the path. How we do that, we come down to the effect, we right click, and now we do add motion point at playhead. And now another motion point has been added. We can click on it, and if we move over to the right, you'll see that we have different types of motion path points. We have what we just added, which is the point to, with two handles. 
we can click on it and have the point with one handle on the left or one handle on the right or where it adds a straight line. The one we want is the one with two handles. That will give us a smooth curve. We now click on the point, drag it down to the area of the track. We now rotate how we want this to move. So the car is going to come down here and then move up. I'm going to make an adjustment here on the other one. And move out. And now we have the car so it lines up. Looks like we still need to be a little bit centered here. So right about there. And we'll click off of it. Take our timeline. Take it to the very first of the track and hit play. And here comes our car moving down the track and off the screen. Now the only thing we have left is we have to correct the problem which we have with the car where it does not face the right direction. And fortunately Camtasia has a cure for that. So if we move to the front and click on the first tab, we can do what's called auto orient. Let's fine tune one item on here. First of all, let's go down here and change this so it it's not as sharp of a turn. And let's move it up just a hair so the car is going to fit. There we go. And we're going to check see what the other side looks like. So we're going to move it over here. And there's our other side. Okay, so let's line up the car. Now, when we click on this, we want to make sure that this is lined up the direction we want the car to go. So currently, the car is facing sideways. What we want to do is come over here under the Y, and we want to change it to a minus 90. Hit return. And now the car will start off straight. Then what we want to do, now that the car is facing the right direction, is we want to come down here to Auto Orient, click on that. We see that our car has moved back to the other, same previous position. That's no problem. We go back in, we hit 90, minus 90, and return, and now the car is facing the right direction. And now as we move the playhead, we see the car remains in the right direction on the track. Okay, so if we do play, here comes the car. It's going to come around the corner and go around the next corner. Now to make the lift effect look more realistic, we have another option that we can also put in. And if we come over here on the right hand side, we see easing. Easy means that it will slow as it comes. If we have easy in, it was like right here. It will slow up as it comes in. If we have easy out, it will slow, as, take a exit slowly as it leaves that point. We want to click on that point. And what we want, right now it's easy none. We want an easy in. So if we do an easy in, We'll now hit play. And the car comes down, it slows down, goes around the corner, and then speeds up. Let's see what happens if we do an easy out. So we'll move back in. Still got our point selected here. We come over, we drop it down to an easy out. And we're going to start our video again. Hit the play. Comes down, slows as it comes in. Excuse me, slows as it goes out. 
But I think the effect looks better if on an easy end. And you can do easy both as well. So it eases in and eases out. But I think the effect works better with just the easing in. Let's try it again. Here comes our car coming around the corner, easing, slowing up, and then moving back out. The only thing they didn't add with this, at least I have not seen it, is a lot of these paths in different programs, they have what's called a bump. So like in After Effects and in Premiere, you can do a motion path and you can have a where it comes in and it actually does a short little bump. And in some effects, that is really handy. It catches people's eyes, eyes and makes it, uh, gives them more realism. In this particular example, it might not be applicable, but in others, it would be very applicable. And I haven't seen that in Camtasia on their new change. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate of this software. My link to this program is in the notes below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out our other videos.